Okay, so you remember this piece? We weren't sure if this goes under or over the windshield. Um, so it turns out that we do need to, um, essentially, right here we need to take a section out so it can sit uh, further down. And so this goes underneath the windshield. And so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, section this off, uh, drill all the holes for rivets, put the uh, adhesive on, uh, the, uh, the sealant adhesive, and get that part fitted, and we'll go from there. Cut that off. Uh, I'm going to start drilling and riveting all across here and go from there. I've got the uh, all the wires from the front um, essentially just kind of sneaking through there and it's kind of what it looks like. It's on the other side. It's kind of where they come out. And the, these aren't really, there's, a, there's a, I don't know if you can see that, essentially there's, there's big gaps here and here and that's kind of how it's supposed to be so but I did think that this is probably the best place for the cables to come out. I got myself a pneumatic caulking gun. Um, the adhesive sealant that I'm using is just really thick, so after I did kind of the first couple panels, um, it just, it, it was very difficult to squeeze, very uh, difficult to get uh, kind of a consistent, um, anyways, like consistent bead. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this. So over here I did an okay job. I'm gonna fill in this before I put on the next one. This is what it looks like afterwards. So I actually thought it did a pretty good job. Um, I, it did take me just a second to get used to, so I got some lumpy spots and some start and stop spots, but overall I think it's gonna work great. There it is all uh, secured and on this side I may come back in again and try and fill that in but I'm thinking I'm going to wait just in case uh, the essentially the dash the dash is supposed to kind of fit under there so I'll wait um, later but I'm pretty pleased with how it looks and that's the update. All right so other things I'm uh, having to kind of fix or redo. Uh, so you recall having to go through two brake pedals. Um, looks like I will need to go through a third. So let me explain. Um, this uh, was designed for a Honda, a Honda Accord um, and it uses a Honda Civic master cylinder, brake master cylinder. So that's kind of what all the mounting points and things are for. But this brake has a pretty poor ratio as far as uh, how much travel here for how much essentially compression or fluid displacement we get here in the master cylinder. And so essentially what that means is I'm not going to get enough, essentially enough fluid to close the brakes for both front and rear. So I've been talking with Brembo and with Willward and so I'm gonna go with a manual setup so it means I can get rid of the uh, vacuum booster but it means I need a new pedal so the pedal 
I think this was like a 4.6 to 1 or something like that and the pedal probably more like 7 or 9 to 1 that I'm going to be getting so it's got a lot more mechanical advantage and I'll be getting a tandem master cylinder uh, with a proportioning valve or combination valve for the brakes so kind of some of the fluid will get displaced to the front some will get displaced to the rear Okay, so brake system's out. Um, probably go back on eBay. They're better than when I found them. I'll probably get less money than what I bought them for. Okay, so on the steering column, um, I've taken off the uh, windshield wiper and um, the headlight switch turn signals. Um, I've learned that I've got to do a modification to this. So everything's good up through here and even where it sits back here I need the pivot mount for that spot right there but what I'm learning is that this it's got to get plugged in up there and it's just it's not very close all right so this time I've got the uh, essentially the, the connector there um, that union it's all tight and great so I'm gonna put the steering column up here and kind of see how much I need to take out of it So there's a little bit of play, but um, somewhere between like two and a half and three and a half, so I want to aim more like three. All right, so it had me remove this uh, retaining clip from up here, had me pound the shaft so it's uh, no longer kind of firmly stuck. I gotta drill out these two places on both sides. Um, I've already marked the shaft. I, want, I need to move it up by that much, so I'm gonna push the shaft all the way in there from those two holes and drill all the way through, and then I gotta join the two shafts. So I'm not quite sure if I'll do pins or screws or what, but. That's what we gotta do. All right, so I drilled through, and this is now loose, so I can uh, add this back around two and three quarter inches. So I pushed it up to that line. I'm gonna drill the holes here, and then I secure the whole thing. All right, so I drilled through, 
Um, I'm thinking I might tap these and put set screws in them. Um, so anyways, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got uh, holes threaded, set screws in, and we'll put it back together. So I was able to pound this back in, put the retaining ring on. So I believe that gets this all back to um, ready to put it back on the car and see if it fits. Okay, so we are back assembled. Um, got the switches back on, column mounted, and back here. It's kind of hard to see, but so that's how that's now adjusted. So it's actually tight on here, and everything kind of links up just right. So we are set. Okay, so I've had a couple questions about how are we going to put in the Tesla motor? Will the Tesla motor fit? Um, so this is a CAD model of the Model S, um, kind of just the frame, battery, suspension components, and so on. So um, I'll go ahead and strip off all of the front and all the other areas and just kind of leave just the back and the suspension which is the components I'm that I've ordered all right so we'll go ahead and um, hide those and got one more oh there it goes all right so this is the rear section I'm, I'm even gonna get rid of this uh, this tower uh, here just so we can see kind of what's going on um, and then I'll throw on the, the frame right here. So this is the frame. Now I haven't modeled the whole front part, just really the back. And so uh, I'll just kind of zoom in here. But the essentially there is no place where this um, interferes or anyways, it, it's got plenty of clearance all the way around. Um, the, the things that I'm looking at that I'll probably have to change or kind of redo, I'll throw on one of uh, the shock absorbers here. Uh, I guess I'll throw them both on. So the K1 kit 
has, uh, this is where it joins the top and it comes down more at an angle. And you'll see here that also we're just off by like an inch or two. So I think what I'll do as far as frame modifications, I'll make a similar bracket here, but just on the other side. So this is where the Tesla one goes normally. So I'll just kind of uh, have something welded here that kind of accommodates the same. Uh, but I'll keep all the same, the Tesla suspension, things like that. Uh, the other things I'm going to need to do is um, where the K1 kit, uh, where the frame ends, um, I'll, I'll have to fabricate some essentially mounting points for the Tesla motor. So here are two mounting points, um, the other two, let's see if we can see that, yeah, they're up front here. So again, we'll have to kind of uh, look at what the best way is to bring some steel there. Um, the other thing is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm doing this, I'll have a, essentially a steel bar made back here that will be a kind of a rear bumper as well, rear crash zone. So that's kind of the, how things will fit there. Um, yeah. All right, that does it for this week. Um, we got some things sorted out, got the brakes um, removed, the brake pedal and master cylinder and brake booster, so ready to, to receive the new system. Also updated the steering column, so that's now functional and working. Um, got the CAD kind of modeled up for the modifications we need to do for the Tesla, and we're just waiting for that Tesla to come. So it's been 15 weeks, and we're really excited for it to come. Uh, we're waiting on the controller, and now that's here, so Hopefully be shipping any day now and we'll keep you updated.